All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at Veracity here and as we can see, looking as though it is still grinding to the upside and continuing to the upside here, we have got quite a decent uh, bearish divergence starting to form on the daily time frame here as you can see. Higher highs on the price action but lower highs on the, uh, on the RSI there. You can see obviously the MACD has gone absolutely crazy. Ever since we were back here really, we've had actual bullish overall MACD. Which is very, very interesting considering, you know, how under the cosh veracity has been recently. But we did start to say when we were back here and, you know, with the MACD flip bullish after a really long time. We had a little spike here, but realistically it was all down, wasn't it? Ever since we had that big push at the top of the all-time high for the bull market. And you can see, obviously, just continuously down, down, down. Lower lows and lower highs. But we did start to form a little bit of support like this, didn't we? And then when we finally got that breakout... And the reversal off the back of this big bullish divergence that we started to form on the RSI with the price continuously trickling down. You know, we broke lots of key resistances here, came back inside the range and just had a huge parabolic move all the way up, smashing that 023 and heading straight up to that level that we did talk about being key support here. Flipped into resistance and then resistance here again, which was broken after another push to the upside, coiling up and then another push here and then looking like we are coiling up yet again. If we look at the hourly time frame, you can kind of see what's happening. We're just continuously grinding to the upside right now for Veracity. Looking very bullish, to be honest. Pretty much every single retracement, you can see here a push, retracement gets bought. Another push, retracements get bought. And then we're coming up again here. Every single dip in the price seems to be getting bought right now. And, you know, that is the sign of Veracity being in a very bullish place right now overall, isn't it? I don't want to say that we're in a bull market because it's still too early to tell, in my opinion. But if you had a quick look at the Bitcoin chart, for example, you can see quite clearly for Bitcoin. If I just look at the one that I have actually marked up, you can see here for Bitcoin, you've clearly got that bear market resistance here being broken, back tested. And you've got a, even a bit of continuation here making potentially another higher high on the road to the upside, which is very, very interesting in my opinion. And you can see Veracity looking very similar at the minute, to be honest, in terms of its chart formation. Very, very similar indeed. You can see got the breakout but not quite the back test of that bear market resistance trend line and then obviously a bit of a continuation here as well so veracity today still looking like it's you know it's just chopping sideways and having a bit of a rest isn't it on the daily time frame i am still a little concerned about this obviously this bearish divergence i'm probably expecting a bit of a retracement soon as you can see on the chart i have marked out two areas where i would be looking to put long positions in Obviously on this 038, if we get that retracement back down to that level again, that would be a great en entry for a long, in my opinion, considering how bullish that we have been looking. And then also if we do get a deeper retracement down to that previous level of resistance in the local area here, if we could flip this into support and get the bounce, that would be absolutely glorious as well. But, you know, if we do get a wider rollover in the, in the markets in general, I would expect probably coming back down towards that 023 Fibonacci level. Or maybe even back down to the trend line if we did get a deep correction just to get a full retest of this area before we did, you know, move to the upside. Because let's be honest, this is a parabolic move and this is an overextension of that move. And it looks like it might be starting to run out of momentum. And when we do see a retracement, we would want to see some of these levels being at least tested again, wouldn't we? Make a higher high, higher low with the back test of that previous resistance flipped into support. And then continuation would be, you know, ideal structure really, wouldn't it? For a prolonged rally to the upside. Because right now we're looking very, very parabolic in general. And in my opinion, you know, we could easily see ourselves having an overextension here. And then a bit of a deeper retracement like this. Testing some of these support levels. Retesting these areas and then getting continuation after that. It could be quite likely in my opinion. So right now, Veracity looking very, very bullish indeed, just like the wider market really. Looking like we're potentially getting back into bull market territory depending on, you know, the kinds of resistances that Bitcoin can actually break. In my personal opinion, I don't think we're quite in the bull market yet. We're seeing a lot of bullish market structure for a lot of altcoins and Bitcoin as well. But until we see a true back test of some key levels followed by bitcoin coming up and making another higher high and continuing up towards that 30k level i don't think we're going to be in a bull market until we see some of that and then obviously we'll probably see veracity heading to this absolute moon after that in my opinion considering how well it's reacted to this move in the market you would predict it would probably be heading back up towards some of these key fibonacci levels and beyond into some overextensions after that so <coughs> excuse me 
that would be my analysis for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video.